So a lot of the mods that I've played in the past have been created using this program called mCreator, which allows you to make your own mods without necessarily having to code or know anything about code. I do know how to code. Uh, I don't know if I am able to use that knowledge in this UI, but you guys have recommended that I go in and try to make my own mod. So I want to turn this into a challenge. I have 10 minutes to make the best mod that I can while also never using the software before besides making this one block called the bandy block, which in all honesty, it was not that hard to make. They make it easy in M Creator, let me tell you. As you can see here, when I add a block, it just gets put at the very bottom of the list and I can even make it spawn in the world naturally, which is really cool. I don't know how to make any crafting recipes or anything like that, but hopefully we'll get there. If not, I guess I'll just end up making a bunch of random items. Start, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I want to open this and I want to make a new biome. It's going to be called Bandyland. Create the biome. The water is going to be orange. The fog, uh, deep red. It's going to be a weird area. I want the foliage to be yellow. Uh, the grass is also going to be yellow. And the air, I'll just leave the air what it is. Uh, water, maximum depth. Oh God. I don't know any of these settings. Ground block. Hmm. Normal grass. I hope it just changes color. The underground block. Maybe we should make it the bandy block save mod element and now we have a biome installed less than a minute in all right uh if this is a minute per item this isn't gonna work very well uh water uh i don't know create new fluid uh texture import texture all right i'm gonna have to create a texture really quick here we go just gotta fill it in I i'm not getting fancy with it hopefully i can get this to look okay yeah it's not gonna look good it's gonna look like the bandy block except a little <laughs> different 30 seconds we're done with the texture how do i save this save texture yes Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. Save mod element. Can I edit Bandyland biome? I want to add this water. Oh, yes. Okay, the water color is already set. I don't know if I can pick a block. It doesn't look like I can pick a block, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Two minutes in. <coughs> oh, God. We need to add some food. I'll just go call them grow berries because they grow in this biome. Food texture. We're going to have to create it again. Uh, I'll make it look like a berry, I guess. It'll grow off of this weird thing. F in the chat, everybody. <laughs> this is what a grow berry looks like. It also looks like a bee. You know, we're keeping the theme here. We're keeping it consistent. <laughs> that doesn't look that bad. Okay, save texture. Okay, food texture. No, 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 wait. Where is it? I just created it. Oh no, I messed it up. I saved it as a block. Can we stop the timer? Can we pause the timer? Can we pause it? Okay, time out. Time out. Three minutes in. I don't know where I saved that texture. And this is this is really important. Okay, or else Bandyland is not going to have any food. Let me figure out where it's saved to, and then we can continue. I figured out where it was saved in the file directory. Okay, we're going to resume, and I will open the Growberry. Select this texture. There it is. We got it. Something special about the food. It grows. Save. And now it's in. Okay, I want to go into Bandyland biome real quick and change the biome properties. The height variation, I want it to be really hilly, so I'm just going to hit 40. So th there's going to be a decent amount of height variation. Entity spawning, no, no, no. Oh, God. Uh, biome category, maybe forest. That might be cool. I'm wasting a lot of time on this. Oh, God. Oh, no. Stack size of grow berries will be 20. Sure. There's a lot of different things that we can change about this, but I'm almost halfway done, and it doesn't feel halfway done. Okay, halfway in, I think I want to make an ore. I want to add an ore. The ore pack name will be... Uh, bandy oi or <laughs> gem base uh ingot base i think that'll be cool or pack color let's just kind of stick with the theme here a little bit okay create or pack oh god that's a lot okay all right it, it, it did it it basically did it for me 30 seconds and i have an ore in the game create armor oh god armor pack base item uh what do we want to model after probably iron that'd be cool bandy armor can i try and get that same color that i had i think that this was it create armor pack Oh, okay. Oh, what? No, I used the wrong. <laughs> you need five iron chest plates to get one. That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. That's eight. You need eight. Oh, God. Okay, I fixed it. It looks like it's fixed. Uh, I'm just going to give it a power factor of four. Really have no idea what that means, but we have the ingots. I would love to make this spawn somewhere in the game. Is that a thing? Is that possible? Oh, no. Oh, no. Create wood pack. Uh, I guess so. Wood I'm just gonna call it wood tree. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but you know, who cares? Um, that looks terrible, but okay. <laughs> okay, so we really need tools as well. Uh, tool pack name, bandy tool. Uh, the tool pack base item is gonna be the uh, tree, tree wood block. I think that's good. Yes, uh, it should work. The color accent. Let's make it yellow. I don't care. Create tool pack. 
Okay, nice. So we have the wood and then we also need uh, the bandy metal. So I'm gonna make another tool pack. Uh, there it is, the bandy iron, iron replacement. Okay, create tool pack. Nice. So these are all in the game. We have two minutes left. I kind of want to make a living entity. Oh God, one minute 30. I will name it uh, Greg. I can't type Greg. I don't know. I don't know what this means. We need to make a texture. Okay, <laughs> I can't make one. Oh no. Skin stealer. Quick, grab skin. Okay, no. Bandy. Brew. Grab skin. Yes. Download. Quick. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Desktop. Bandyroo.png. Okay. Save. Okay, we did it. We did it with five seconds left. Whew, oh, that's a mod. We did a lot. I'm actually really excited to see how this comes out. <laughs> this is my first Minecraft mod. Well, if you don't count command blocks. Man, this looks like trash. Okay, so let's just make sure all the items are in. It looks like there are the wood. It just says BX. So they're in the game. We have it. Uh, I have my ugly armor and ore and my custom water, which I don't think spawns in the biome, but we can just check that out. Wow, that's disgusting. Looks like melted cheese or something. <laughs> but uh, hey, it took me like five seconds to make. Oh, what? It actually spawns in the world. Oh, that's sick. What does it look like underwater? Okay, not too different. No way, there I am. I look nothing how I should. I look terrible. What do I drop? Nothing. I gotta find the bandy biome. Has to be somewhere around here. Oh, is this it? This is it, I think. Oh, this looks cool. I love the grass color. I've outdone myself here. Oh, no. Oh, what have, what have I done? The leaves just fall off the tree. Okay, let's see if this uh, if this works out. Pretty tough tree, not gonna lie. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't drop anything. That's unfortunate. What? Are you serious? That stinks. Oh, wait, there's fruit hanging from the trees. My modded fruit. Oh, grow berries, they exist. I'm not very hungry, so it's not that good. Wow, I made the worst biome ever. <laughs> Everything dies immediately. Can I plant these? Nope, these are only consumables. Okay, so I have the wood here in my inventory. I wonder if I can actually make something with it. I know it doesn't drop correctly. Oh, but you can. You can't make a crafting table though. You can make sticks. Okay, no crafting table allowed in the new biome. Let me just grab some normal wood. Oh wait, we have some. Let's see what else we can make. Let's see if our tools worked. Oh uh, yeah, there it is, baby. Wooden pickaxe. Oh, uh, this thing's pretty good. Honestly, it's not bad. I think I made it a little bit OP. But considering it's probably impossible to get in the current state legitimately, eh, not that bad. I hope that I can find some ore. Bandy ore is my number one goal right now. So I don't know how this happened, but this wooden pickaxe can actually harvest iron, which I kind of like. That's a, that's a big plus for me. Oh my god, is that it? Is this it? The legendary bandy ore that drops it already smelted? I didn't mean to do that, but that's kind of, you know, convenient. That's, that's the laziness in me, I think. All right, let's see if we can uh, make boots. Okay, we can. Nice. Big old boots. The armor's working great. This was uh, so easy. 10 minutes of your time. You could be a Minecraft developer. Look at this. This is amazing. Let's see. The bandy sword, the B sword. Um, it's not as nearly as good uh, as diamond for obvious reasons. You don't need to smelt it. It has the power of iron though, which is kind of nice. If you find the biome with all the dead trees, then you know you've struck gold with OP tools. This is such a strange biome. It came out pretty good though. I, I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. All right, and the glowberry, it does give you food. So <laughs> this, is a, this is a big success. Huge success. Look at all my custom blocks. I'm so good at the game. I'm so good at modding. The one thing I am disappointed by is that all the bandies, I told them to spawn here, but they pretty much spawn everywhere but this place. That should just about wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and let me know if you want to see me do a modding challenge like this again. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Later.